vacation. Welcome to day 88. That is the day after 87. And the day before 89. It is. It's also before 90, but it's two days before. Look at how much you I'm learned learning. I'm learning. I'm trying. Today. I've been practicing. Uh, so, how have you been? I've been good, Corey. I've been good. good. How about you since yesterday? Um, a lot's happened. But, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad today is today. I'm glad it's not tomorrow. I'm glad that... I'm glad today is not tomorrow, too. Because yeah. that would be weird to be in the Because then that would mean that today is over. Uh, what do you want to do with today, then? Well, to Look at that transition! <laughs> well, today is Wednesday. It is. It's Wednesday all day long until it's not anymore. Mm -hmm. And I want to, you know, we've been running with a theme. We had Move It Monday, and Tanya was with us. Which was pretty cool. Thank you, and, Tanya. Yep. And it was, it was really cool. I'm excited about that every week. Which, by the way, I hope you're still doing your workout today. She challenged you, everyone to every day. So. <laughs> I'm guilty. I, I, I have it. Okay, well, today, <laughs> you know, we're talking about faith. And I was like, we're running with this theme mm -hmm. idea. And I wanted to call today... Worship Wednesday. Let's do it. And so it is officially Worship Wednesday. Now, worship is not limited to singing songs. Definitely but it not. is singing songs. But it is singing songs. What how would you define worship? Oh, is it a little fuzzy? Um worship is giving my attention and my honor to something to God yeah. hopefully but it's when something is really getting like my heart's affection mm. so I might give my heart's affection to uh, take fives oh uh, but if I'm worshiping a take five then that's inappropriate I yeah. can't put that above God yeah. so it's anytime I'm doing that like uh, singing's a great example because I'm focused in on one thing I'm doing one thing I'm using my voice my mind, my emotions to worship God. So uh, I like that example. But are there more? Yeah, absolutely. I I like to think of worship as like an arrow, as myself being an arrow. And what is my life as an arrow? What is it pointing to? And so that's everything. So it's like, what are my songs pointing to? Hmm. What what are what are when I sing a song? What does it tell others around me that my focus is? Or like when I'm working. Okay. What is what does my attitude? What does it point to? So what is my time out? Okay. You got two boys. Um, yeah. What would their arrow? How could they understand that? What would their arrow point to? Hmm. What would my boys? Huh. Sometimes it might point to uh, the tablet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. I, I know for me, sometimes my arrow points yes. to me. Mm. And that's it's easy to worship ourselves. Yeah. See, but that's one reason why I really like songs okay is because it gets our attention off of ourself when we're singing worship songs because a lot of worship songs point to Jesus and so we kind of line up under that song and we can sing it and it points nice to our Lord yeah and Savior Jesus Christ now I uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do next but I see you have a Bible down there what's up with Thank the Bible you, Corey I forgot where I was going with that um, I want to read to you about, here I am, I, I want to read to you about worship, and it is Psalm 105. This is from the Nerve Bible. New International Reader's Version. That's right. Psalm 105. Why do you agree with it? It's so much easier to say the New International it's, Reader's Version. Is it, though? Nerve. New International Reader's Version. It's kind of both. Um, so, 105, Psalm 105, verse 1 through 3. It says, Give praise to the Lord and announce who He is. Tell the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell about all the wonderful things he has done. Praise him because his name is holy. Let the hearts of those who trust him, trust in the Lord, be glad. I like it. Yes. So I like it because it reminds us to sing about who he is, about what he's done, so that other people can know about it. Sweet. Yes, so I want to know, what is your, what is, what song have you really been worshiping to lately? What, it's been a tool. Oh, okay. yeah. The preteens probably have a guess because they know some of my favorites. I think I might know one of your favorites. Um, Waymaker. Yep. That's hands what I'm down. Because it's just all about who God is. It's a great arrow pointing mm. to God, um, focused in on Him, uh, who He is, what He's done, just all of those things. I, I love that one. Waymaker. Google it. Oh, it's or YouTube. That's it. you're on YouTube right now. Waymaker's a good one. Well, on YouTube. Leland, I like that version the best.
podcast. Yep. That's what about one. you? I really like Yes I Will. I think we've sang that a few times. Mm-hmm. Coronation now, we've sang it in a big church a few times. It's just like whatever circumstance you find yourself in, whether it be the low places in your life, like when you're really struggling, or like the mountaintops when you're like, man, I can conquer the world. But it's, yes, I will. I will worship you in every situation. That's what I like. And we have a guest. <gasps> Special guest! I want to know what Sam's favorite worship song is right now. Okay, so it's a tough one. I like, I probably have like 20 hundred different Spotify playlists of worship music. Let's list all 20 yeah, hundred. Okay, okay, so I got my fingers might, too. Okay, so um, <laughs> Vibing Jesus stuff is one of my favorite. Okay, that's, this will take too long. Yeah. But one of my favorite right now, and it's a classic, is My Lighthouse. Oh, that's a, yes! That's one of the ones that I always just... Oh. And you can like, you can dance to my it, but it's also, house. yeah. My lighthouse, yeah. shining in the dark. Okay. I will oh, okay. you. Yeah, we get it. You get it. This Safe to show. show. That might be coming soon. Oh, that's a good song. Yeah, that it is good. good. That's Especially really how good. excited you got about it. <laughs> I, I like that. I like you should go back and replay that. That was fun to watch. I like that song. That's a good one, Sam. That is a I really know. good one. So, as we're continuing to talk about faith, Sam, my friend here, duh. He's recently uh, recorded a little something, something for us. You want, is there anything you want to say about that? I mean, let's just say prepare for your minds to be blown. It is pretty awesome. It blew my mind. Did you have a magnet in your hand? No, no, I never was a magnet. I was trying to figure it out. It's magic. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, before we move on to Sam's video, yeah, I want to hear from you. I want to know what your favorite worship song is right now. I want to know. Because, you know, there's three of us standing here right now, and I tell you that one of us has a lot of power in what songs you hear on Sunday. So, <laughs> if you tell me, we might conceive. I'm just saying. Uh, can I put in another question from my nope. White House? Yes. Ah, <laughs> see what I did there? Got him tricked yes. since the beginning. Cool. So, Sam. Let's go to your video. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? You can't see me, but you can see my hands. We are talking about something new, right? And it is faith. Faith is, um, as you heard, believing in something that you cannot see because of what you can see. And there are all sorts of stories throughout the Bible of people doing this. And I want to illustrate one for you today. Um, so we're going to talk about Peter. Now, Peter is a disciple, right? He followed Jesus around, and so one day Jesus says, Hey, disciples, y'all go sail on. I will catch up with you in a little bit, right? So he stays on shore. The disciples are sailing, um, and as the disciples go, well, the sea that they're in, and we're going to pretend this is the sea, starts to get rough, and a storm blows in, and it's blowing their boat around, and they're freaking out, right? It's not good news. Um, and so they're super scared, and all of a sudden, something comes out and starts walking on the water and they freak out like oh my gosh it's a ghost we're gonna die right because there's all sorts of tales and stories of ghosts back then and so they freak out but the ghost calls out and says hey it's me jesus and peter in faith says all right jesus if it's you why don't you let me walk on the water to you and jesus says okay and so we're gonna pretend that this right here is jesus and this right here is Peter. Jesus says, okay. And Peter begins to walk. And he walks on the water towards Jesus. He steps out in faith and he begins to walk on the sea. But then he notices the big waves and the wind. And all of a sudden, doubt creeps in. And he sinks, right? He begins sinking and... and Peter begins to freak out. He's like, oh my goodness. And he sinks. And he calls out to Jesus and says, save me. And so Jesus does. He reaches in. He picks up Peter. And he pulls him out of the water. Now, granted, it was a little bit easier than with a, uh, with a paper clip. But he does it. Boop. And he pulls him out of the water. Pulls him to safety. And into the boat. 
and that's where they talk more, and they're like, oh my gosh, it's you, Jesus, you can walk on water, but here's the lesson I wanted to show you guys. So, the lesson I wanted to tell you guys is, is that faith is, is like that, right? We, we can't have faith without asking God for help, right? You see, if Peter had just stepped off the boat, he would have sunk right in the water but he asked jesus he said all right jesus i have faith let me walk on the water and so he did so that's the kind of lesson that we want to learn as well if we're having trouble with our faith if we're doubting if things are don't make sense sometimes it's always okay to ask ask a parent to help ask Corey or me or an adult that you trust to help or ask jesus to help Read his word in the Bible. Like you can do that. And you will learn a lot. And it will help your faith. But never be afraid to ask. Because if we don't, sometimes we'll be like Peter. And we'll begin to look around at the waves and the storm and get scared. And we might begin to sink. And even if we sink, Jesus will always be there. So don't be afraid to call him out. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Like faith... It's kind of hard sometimes, and sometimes we have to ask for help, and that's okay. I hope you guys got something out of this. I thought it was really cool that I can make paper clips float, so there's that. But I will see you guys later. All right, Sam, we're here. You're in Corey's office, so you get to play the game today. Because I came to find Corey, but you were in here. Yeah. So you get to play Cool Cats and Kittens. <sighs> Worship volume one. I have you these headphones. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. All you have to do is what? on the computer right here. What? Yep. I can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. What? Yep. All you have to do is, I'll, you know what? I'll push play for okay, you. Okay, okay. Read the instructions. Okay. And just, you know what? I'll tell you the instructions. They're easy. Okay, okay. okay. You're going to hear some cats meowing, mm -hmm. and you have to figure out, you have to name the song of what they're meowing. Okay. Okay. okay, I got this. They okay. are they are worshiping kittens. Okay. 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 All right. Here well, we okay. go. All right. Hang on. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's fast forward. Oh no, we'll we'll just keep it there. There you go. Oh, there's my instructions again. One point equals the name of the song. One. Oh, so you can get two points. Yeah. Sure. She sing it. Oh, okay. You sing gonna, it. I'm gonna get all points. Meow 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 meow. Meow, 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 me
，喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵